Good morning, ladies and gentlefolk. Danny Stewart here for BassJapanDirect.com with another naked sound review. And this beauty that I have here. Greco um, JV600 from uh, about 1982, I believe. And uh, this plays like an absolute dream. You might be wondering why I'm I'm playing like this. Um, it's because I've injured my elbow. Um, long story short, it hurts. But if I don't bend it. Um, it's it's more comfortable and it gives it a chance to to just rest and heal. It is a repetitive strain injury from my uh, from work. But this has got that lovely quack. You know, it's it just sounds great. And that's with the tone um, halfway. Let's have it all the way down. Rear pickup, of course. Pickups, it looks like they are 70s spacing. Uh, that looks to me like that's an 8 millimeter, 8, 80 millimeter spacing between the pickups rather than 70, um, which would make it uh, just check oh, that would make it um, yeah, that's 80 millimeters. That 70s uh, pickup spacing. Um, let's just have a listen. Uh, balanced. Um, I can't really play very well like this, but. But that's a beautiful uh, balanced sound, that is. Beautiful balanced tone there. Um, take the, the treble down a little bit, uh, cut the tone a little bit. Yeah, that's that's just fantastic. Front pickup. So it sounds great, plays great, and uh, the intonation is very nice on this. Um. The action is is beautiful. Um, there's lots of room to go up or down on the bridge. Very healthy. Truss still operates properly. If I tighten it, it'll choke out down at the bottom. I'll just uh, show that to you so that you'll know. Um, here we go. Turn that round. And 
Starts to get um, a little bit choky down there, you know. Go even further. Completely chokes out. That's what you want. That's a healthy neck. It's got lots of life in it yet. Let's take it back to where it was. And uh, yeah, very nice. Ow. So yeah, I mean it's just a just a fantastic instrument. Back to the rear pickup again. Um, as I was setting it up, I actually spent about about ninety minutes just playing it um, because it was it just spoke to me um, and was so nice to play. Um, yeah, I, I had a real good time just playing it for a good hour and a half. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. That's the JB six hundred from Greco, about nineteen eighty two, I believe. Um, and in absolutely beautiful condition, playing order. Um, very, very few marks or blemishes to speak of. Um, gorgeous looking materials. That's a three piece older body, I believe. Um, and a, a rosewood or maple uh, neck there with a thin C grip, 38 millimeter bone nut. We've got uh, got old GB1 tuners. Um, that's another reason why I think possibly this might be a um, sort of 1982 onward because the hardware looks uh, nice and clean. Um, it is very clean. Very, very clean indeed. Um, I'm not sure some of the screws might have been changed. Um, you know, uh, because it, it does look, the condition seems seems really, really good um, for the year. It's uh, one of the nicest jazz basses that I've had through yet, um, I would say. Um, just really, really comfortable to play. Not so heavy either. Um, you're looking at about, ah, sod it, why don't I just, uh, I'll get, I've got the scales here. Um, but I believe you're looking at about, just judging by uh, my instincts, um, I'm going to say it's about, uh, actually, no, it's not even, it's not, I'd say it's around four kilograms, maybe 3.9 something. Let's see. <clears throat> Oh, actually what I put in the listing is spot on. It's 4.1, 4.1 kilograms on the hanging scale. So not a heavy bass by any stretch of the imagination. It's, it's nice and light um, for an older bodied bass. All right, guys, well, that'll do it. Uh, thanks again for watching another Naked Sound Review. And if you're interested in this bass, you can follow the link below um, uh, as it's linked directly to my Shopify um, I've also linked in the video cards as well. So, all right, see you again.